So I was just looking at the footage from when I was tracing everything and I realized I missed a whole section of shadow. Just the other day I saw Jazza do this shadow art challenge where basically he took an object, let it cast a shadow onto his page, traced the outline of it, and then turned it into something. And when I saw that I thought to myself, wow that looks incredibly hard and terrifying. Let's do it. I will begin by turning off this light so we don't really know what the shadow is going to look like yet. Okay, I think I'm ready. It's time for the moment of truth. I like how you can see the little tip of the, of the, the pencil airplane here. Oh, by the way, my sister Lydia made this actually. She painted it. I, I'll try <laughs> to define the shadow as as fairly as possible, but yeah, there's not a very sharp shadow. Uh, we'll pretend this, this didn't happen. All right, time for the moment of truth, again. Okay, this is not that bad. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna turn it into a bird. It almost seems a little too straightforward, but I'm not gonna argue, I'm not gonna argue. The real question is, who am I not arguing with? The one thing I don't know what I'm gonna do for sure is these little nicks right here. And I just, I don't know really. I'm just gonna like have motion. Maybe I should actually make him into a robin, an English robin, because they're very round. Just have to get the mac. <laughs> the mackiness? Pretty sure I meant the markings. Ooh, 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 I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I really hope I'm not erasing some of the lines I'm actually supposed to be following. I didn't really have any way to distinguish them. So I should fix that right now. Feel free to yell at me in the comments if I'm doing anything wrong. Well, that is one big mess. No. No. <laughs> this is where it all falls apart, guys. This, I don't know if I'm going to do the flurry thing now. I think that just might be too many lines, honestly. So I feel like these lines were here. No. No, they were not. Where is my ink pen? Let's use this blue one because it was the one closest to me. I regret my decision already. Is it too late to turn back? No. I feel like I, I did this at the perfect time. Just a time when I really just don't care. And that's kind of what you want for a challenge like this. And sometimes they're just gonna look a little off. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was just as messy as I could please with that, but I do like how it looks more with ink on it now. And I think I'm gonna even indulge myself a bit and uh, color it in. This is mostly con it's gonna consist of scribbling. And for special effect, let's add a bit of our red pen here. I totally forgot about this one. Whoops. I'm actually surprisingly happy with how this turned out. Um, usually when I do these kind of things, they end up looking a little bit goofy because the lines are in weird places. Uh, but the only thing that would really tip you off with this one is the, well, especially this one. It's been several days since I did this, and I feel like last time I just got something extremely easy and um i don't think i'm gonna be so lucky this time but fingers crossed um <laughs> and let's just get started so you know what that's good that's good all right oh and one of the rules um jazza mentioned actually the only rule he mentioned was just that around the base of the object we don't trace that so I'm not cheating, guys. I'm not cheating. Uh, not yet, anyway. Alright, let's see. Okay. Oh my, I see another bird. <laughs> uh, let's see. I, I don't know if I'm gonna go with that, though, because we just did one. The beak's here, and I guess the tail's here? I think I just have birds in my mind, honestly. Actually, you know what? I think I am going to make this into a bird anyway, because why not? 
maybe even all of these can just be bird themed. That would just be so perfect. Also, <laughs> I don't really know what else I would turn this into anyway, so I marked uh, the, the original lines with red this time, so it's a little easier to see. And I did notice in the first <laughs> one, I did accidentally erase a line that was not supposed to be erased. And I thought a line was there that very clearly did not exist and could not have existed. I cheated, in other words. I'm kind of basing this off of a Costa hummingbird. I don't know how I think about this beard situation here. <laughs> I have no idea what to do with this. They have their wings sometimes coming out here. I don't really know if that looks like it makes all that much sense. Now, you might be asking, okay, how does putting the wing right there even help anything at all? Uh, I don't think it really helps actually all that much, but it does distract you from the fact that there's this giant gash in this bird's side. You know what? I'm just giving up on this wing idea. All right, you know what time it is. Wow, I sound like I'm good mythical morning or something. It's a little hard to capture that iridescence um, when you're basically just uh, scribbling with reckless abandon. Here is where I incorporate the line. I'm basically sorta of kinda cheating-ish, maybe? I don't know. This is not the worst of my crimes. Oh no. And once again, we are going to add this red pen. So I was just looking at the footage from when I was tracing everything, and I realized I missed a whole section of shadow. And so in a desperate attempt um, to salvage what is left of my reputation, I decided to recreate the situation and retrace that portion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this part of the shadow just seems very dubious to me. Um, there's so much like kind of shadow going on like really really weak spots here and here so I just use my better judgment um, to trace what seem to be the strongest points this is just a big mess we can make this all better just by turning this into some sort of flower can I see? yep uh. <laughs> what do you see? Think? yeah yeah <laughs> it's a video okay oh but you didn't take it off yet because remember in the video i took then. it off because i traced it look this is the shadow that your glasses made how i don't know it's pretty weird isn't it yeah goodbye goodbye <laughs> now can you see me in it no they can't see you wow <laughs> Because you're not in the way of the camera. I'm kind of debating between red and purple. Just lightening it up. I'm really not sure what I think about this flower at all. Like, I feel like there's something I could do to make it look a bit better, but I have no clue what that is really. And I really liked how it looked just as is. Um, so it just might be that I, I haven't gotten used to this change yet. I think I'm very happy with this, actually, especially the bird part. But once again, I'm very surprised with how easy it turned out. But you could argue that's because I was pretty generous with the sections of shadow I left out. Once again, complain in the comment section below if you have an issue with it. Let's get into our third and final drawing. I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to turn this into a bird as well. I'm trying not to get my hopes up here because it's kind of unlikely. You see why I'm nervous? <laughs> I feel like this is far more complex than I'm really ready for. Okay, hopefully I didn't miss anything this time. It's so hard to see, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's going on here? Honestly, I don't even know what I see in this at all. Guess what? I think I actually found a way to turn this into a bird. And honestly, I am just so shocked. I did not think I would be able to do it at all. It did take me a good, like, 20 minutes to get everything sort of sorted out. And I thought 
even if I'm able to somehow make it into a bird, I won't be able to turn it into anything, you know? Anything meaning a certain kind of bird. But I think I actually found a bird where I'm going to be able to do that. A falcon. One of the hardest parts is definitely going to be the wings and <laughs> just making everything look proportional. As much as I have everything sort of figured out, I am still very nervous, but I'm so excited. That is one weird looking bird laying. How is this working out so perfectly? I just, I don't understand. I think this has taken me by far the shortest amount of time to do. Maybe because I did most of the planning in my head, but still. This was by far I had the most complex lines. So weird. See, this is one of the big reasons why I chose this falcon instead of a different bird. It's because this, I didn't know what to do with it. So I thought, why not choose a bird that has uh, spots on its legs? <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting in the head. I could just color it in. So I'm just gonna kind of block it in since I've already done that. <laughs> and we might as well kind of fill these in a bit. You know the drill. I've learned uh, during the process of creating these drawings that I really actually enjoy a good scribble. <laughs> I don't always like how it looks, so you just gotta embrace the opportunity. And here we have the final product and I have to say this is my favorite one by far not just because it looks really nice but also because if you look at where it came from um, <laughs> and how little sense the lines made to me and how impossible it seemed at the beginning just that transformation is so much more satisfying than some of the others which just seems so straightforward to me I'm also just kind of impressed with myself if I'm even allowed to say that um, just because I didn't really think I, I had it in me um, to turn this into something that actually kind of looks good I really like this challenge maybe I'll even do more of these in the future but <laughs> Even though I, I was so successful, I still think I got really good luck with the lines that I had. Let me know which bird was your favorite and if you would ever consider doing this challenge. And I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.